crunches it. Hi, this is Gail from Bernina of Naperville, and you are here in total BU day two central here in my sewing studio. So today it's all about software. That's right, the new Bernina 9 version software is coming out and we're here to learn all about it. And I'm gonna tell you all about the new things that you are gonna see from BU. So as we, as the team here works on the software, I'm gonna be showing you all of the new things, explaining to you how the updates to nine go, the upgrades, what's an update, what's an upgrade, what are the new crystal edition machines and how can you get your hands on one of those? And then we're also gonna cover the new Laura Star 40 year anniversary iron. Now, the first thing that is gonna shock you with this is that actually, 1980 was 40 years ago. <laughs> but once you get over the shock of that, you're gonna love this iron. And then um, we're gonna look at some other stuff. Then I'm gonna do a little quick software demo for you. And then for us, it's off to Century Club where we're gonna cook our own dinner. <laughs> See you in just a minute. Look at this. We got a special delivery from a super awesome person. There he is. <laughs> and take, take a good long look, everybody. This yeah. young man is going back to Switzerland, and we're very sad about that. But, um, but I have Kristen. She's my replacement. Oh, hi, Kristen. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know, we really love the irons here. Great. It's one of our favorite products, but don't tell, you know, like the, <laughs> the others. But so there's a special edition iron, a special edition Smart U, because Laura Star was started in 1980. 40 years ago, 40 yes. Year, 1980 is 40 yep. years ago. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. Well, anyway, so this iron, we have them in stock, as you can see. We're going to put one up here in our demo section, and we're just really excited and super surprised to see Philip. So. It's like great for storing the iron, then a special 1980 ironing cover and four filters. Oh yeah. What did you think about that anniversary edition iron? You know, I love it because it's got that gold look and it really goes, for those of you out there that have an anniversary edition 770, 790 or 880, this iron will go perfectly with it. But you know what? It's not just about the anniversary edition. It's also the free goodies that this comes with. Now, if you're if you're ironing in a small space, don't forget that you're going to get a nice little cover or a case to hold it in so that, you know, if you're not really needing it, you can put it away and that will protect it. Um, you also get four free filters. Now, that is a year's supply of filters or maybe even more. For me, it's a year supply, but for you, it might be even longer. Um, the Remember, you can put just regular water in these irons and they use the filtration system from those little blue crystals. And that will, you know, and, and that's kind of like all of this sciency stuff. It helps make that great steam. But also the um, Smart U or this 1980 Smart Iron, actually um, has all of the great features that you love about the Smart U. So you can connect it to your phone so that if you choose to use that auto shut off override and you leave the house and you're like, oh crap, I left my iron on, you can turn it off from your phone through the app. <laughs> and then you also have the features of just the steam alone. So the board, if you're trying to do stuff where you need to cool it off immediately, it's got the blowing action in the board. And then if you're you're pressing something, you need to get the steam right through something thick. You have the ability to change the direction and have it suck the steam right through the iron. In addition to that, um, you have the sense of steam where it senses how you're ironing and it will deliver the steam as you move your, your hand. It's got pulse. It has the 3D um, sole plate, which is really going to allow you to 
really get your bolt creases out of your fabric. It also really delivers the steam. In my opinion, it delivers it like a little bit more with more oomph so I can press my blouses and get, you know, really get everything steamed nicely because I, I use my iron not just to press my stuff and, and, you know, do my quilting and make my garments and everything, but I also use it to kind of get the stink out because it takes out the microbes, it takes out the, um, the bacteria, and it hey, you know what? They did all this testing and it, it kills viruses. So it, it is a nice dry clean supplement or maybe it won't get spaghetti sauce out, but it is a nice dry clean replacement for some um, items. And then of course, that means that we're living clean and we're not putting all those chemicals into our body. So come in and check out the Laura Star Irons. Now, another thing that you're gonna wanna come in and check out is the new Bernina Q16 Plus long arm. Now the Q16 plus is pretty much similar to the Q16 regular, but the plus means that it can be hooked up to automation and that's coming soon. But let me tell you a little bit. So the Q16 plus and the Q16 can go on another new product called the studio frame. Now the studio frame goes from five feet to 10 feet. That's right. So you can if you're, if you're just a little bit nervous about how big our pro system is, this smaller system might fit into your sewing space. So you're gonna wanna check that out. We're gonna have this system set up in our store in addition to the Q24 on the, on the pro frame. But you know, enough about me talking about this. Let's hear what Amanda Murphy has to say about this new, exciting Bernina long arm product. I'm quilt artist and fabric designer Amanda Murphy, and I'm excited to introduce you to the new Bernina Q16 Plus on the studio frame. It features the same high quality Swiss engineering for which Bernina is known, and its ease of handling and intuitive interface will make you feel right at home. The Q16 16 inch throat space is perfect for larger quilts, but it's also great for those with limited space options, especially in combination with the studio frame. And the studio frame also fits the Q16's bigger sister, the Q20. Domestic quilters will appreciate the front handling. It's so much easier than quilting from the side. And the studio frame is also perfect for those who want to upgrade from a sit-down model. No passionate quilter should miss the opportunity of being able to quilt on a long arm, on a frame. Because the weight of the quilt is taken off your shoulders and you are simply driving the machine with your hands. And as you can see, this machine is so light, I can push it with just one hand. The Q16 Plus may be a smaller machine than its big sisters, the Q20 and the Q24, but it has the exact same capabilities. That means you can add optional automation, you can do ruler work, you can even do pantographs along the back of the frame. One of the things that I love about the Q series is that you can manage everything from the front of the machine. You can thread the top thread, using a simple thread path right from the front. And you can also wind the bobbin thread from the front. And even better, you can wind the bobbin thread as you quilt. Here's a tip. I like to buy my thread in pairs so that I can wind a bobbin thread anytime I run out without interrupting the quilting process. I love the large ergonomic display. It makes it easy to see things and make adjustments. And the Bernina engineers were genius. They took a feature that is normally on domestic machines, numeric thread tension, and they put it on their long arm. So if I had any tension issues or I wanted to use a specialty thread, I can adjust the tension right on the screen. And I can save special thread tension settings for specialty threads for future use. It makes it so easy. I love how you can customize the Q-Series to fit you. So you can change the angle of the handles. You can put them up and down. You can also change the angle of the handlebars. And I change these settings pretty frequently as I quilt 
to help eliminate fatigue. I also love how you can program the handle button. So I'm right-handed. I keep my power button on the right-handed side of the machine, but if I was left-handed, I could change it so that it was on the left-hand side of the machine. And I do that simply by touching a button on the bottom of the screen. I really appreciate the enhanced visibility that is given by the LED lighting. It makes it easy to quilt even at night. I also love the fact I don't need any extra tools to change the presser foot. I can use any Bernina free motion foot. Also, I can use domestic needles, which is a real advantage. The Bernina stitch regulator is built in and sensor driven. It has three modes as well as a manual mode, which means it provides perfect stitches at any length at any speed. To change the stitch length, I simply click on the screen. So I can change it down to one stitch per inch or up all the way to 24 stitches per inch. The different stitch regulation modes give you many options when quilting. BSR1 is a regulated stitch with an adaptable idle speed. BSR2 is a fully regulated stitch. BSR3 is a shortcut for a basting stitch, and you have the option of one, two, or four stitches per inch. And finally, there is a manual mode. The Bernina Studio frame is extremely easy to set up. Many of the parts come pre-assembled. It took me just two hours from start to finish with a little help from my daughter. When I first saw the studio frame, I was thrilled to see how sturdy it is. Like the pro frame, it features two inch rails. And that means you, the rails won't bend when you forget and you lean against the frame or when you tighten the quilt just a bit too much. I also love how customizable it is. So you can set it up at different heights. I obviously am vertically challenged, so I've set it up at the shortest height, but I also have set it up on casters so it's easy to move, and that's an optional feature. You can also set it up at different widths, so that makes it perfect for small studios. I have it set up on the 10-foot width because I wanted to quilt some bigger quilts once I'm done with this quilt, but you can easily set it up at five feet for smaller spaces. Just like with the pro frame, you have four rails. The take up rail, the dead bar, the back rail, and the top rail. I love these newly designed precision ratchets and the bungee holders too. That helps keep your quilt nice and flat when quilting. And the back of the frame features this great flat area for laying a paper pantograph I can't wait to try one. Thanks for joining me on a tour of the new Bernina Q16 Plus on the studio frame. I can't wait to see the projects you make. Happy quilting. Bernina, made to create. So what did you think about that studio frame? I love it. And I, I'm pretty excited about the fact that it can go to five feet for small spaces because that has been a big concern for a lot of you. Hey, even me, you know, I'm kind of like chucked full at my own sewing studio. Well, we're going to take another look at a Bernina quilting segment. And this one is pretty exciting. It looks like the Bernina 770 Quilters Edition just got an upgrade. That's right. There's a new new girl in town and it's the Bernina 770 Plus Quilters Edition and it's best explained by Valentina who oh my god makes the most amazing quilted handbags. Hey 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 but before we cut to her I want you to rest assured if you have a Bernina 770 Quilters Edition that you love you're going to be able to make it a plus, and we're going to talk about that after this video. Hi, I'm Valentina Bogoyeva, founder of an online school for modern sewing and quilting. 
When I made my first quilt 10 years ago, I never thought that my hobby would turn into a school with students from all over the world. Today, I specialize in fashion accessories. My bags have even been shown at fashion shows and in magazines. At first I had doubts about whether my sewing was good enough, but then I refined a technique that makes sewing easy for me and guarantees a perfect result even without years of experience. Eight years ago, I was invited by Bernina to give a workshop. The workshop participants sat down at their Bernina machines for the first time, and thanks to the unique technology, they immediately got a perfect straight stitch. Because this is not just a sewing machine, it is precision, Swiss precision. It is like the Swiss watches, a robust mechanism on the inside and an excellent modern design on the outside. Now Bernina has launched a completely new machine, the Bernina 770 QE+. Plus. This model also features an embroidery function, and it is a great pleasure to work on. Until now, you probably rolled large projects or quilts up and tried to put them under the machine. Now this is no longer a problem because this model has over 25 centimeters of space to the right of the needle. I call that absolute freedom. I can also set the speed easily up to a maximum of a thousand stitches per minute. You can sew very slowly if you want to sew details or very quickly. If you want to embroider, you can set it to maximum speed and the machine will embroider even larger designs in no time. I often joke that my Bernina doesn't make coffee or do the laundry, but it can do everything else. Operation is easy via the color touch screen as everything is nicely laid out and it's easy to edit stitches and embroidery designs. I can switch from sewing mode to embroidery mode with one click. And threading is exactly the same for sewing and embroidery. If I embroider on the front of a t-shirt, what do I do about the back? You can make it fit somehow, but the design often turns out distorted. With this Bernina, closed items can be positioned on the extended free arm. The front is embroidered while the back is under the free arm and out of the way. My Bernina recognizes the embroidery hoop. When I am planning a large project, it makes all the adjustments and basically tells me, Valentina, we are doing large-scale embroidery. I don't have to make any additional changes. With the new embroidery module, the embroidery speed and precision are even higher than with the previous version from Bernina, all thanks to the new intelligent smart drive technology. If I want to embroider a pattern with several flowers, I can divide the individual elements and group them individually or only embroider a certain part. Or I can group different objects and edit them at the same time. How have you cut jump threads in the past? I have always raised the pressure foot manually, pulled out the thread and cut it. I then pulled the upper thread to the back and secured it. My Bernina does everything itself in next to no time. In addition, the machine automatically adjusts thread tension and presser foot pressure. This saves so much time. I used to have to adjust them manually, then do a test to make sure the stitch was even. Bernina understands. One centimeter fabric thickness? Okay, let's go. This Bernina machine offers a large selection of embroidery designs, sewing and quilting stitches, and I want to use them all. One of my favorites is the Edelweiss embroidery design. Men used to go in search of this rare flower as a symbol of love. That's why I have this design on my backpack. This embroidery design is integrated into the Bernina 770 QE Plus. It is also included in the Plus upgrade for the Bernina 770 QE. Triple stitch is another favorite of mine. Each stitch is sewn three times, giving it a strong, distinct appearance. This creates an amazing effect, and the machine sews very quickly. It used to take a long time to learn to quilt evenly. Bernina now takes on a large part of the process. Even if you are starting out with no experience, the result is flawless right away.
And for experienced quilters, Bernina offers more space for demanding projects and even more features. The word plus in the name of the machine is a byword for absolute creative freedom. If you want to use decorative stitches, the stitch width is very important. The B770QE Plus has a stitch width of up to 9 mm. Decorative stitches can be selected with a simple click and sewn onto the strap of a bag, for example. Even inexperienced sewers can achieve a professional result immediately. I often work with layered fabrics. It is important that the layers do not move around while sewing, otherwise the seam will be loose, uneven, and creases can form. With my Bernina, I do not have to worry because, thanks to the dual feed, I can sew three or four layers at the same time. There's something that quilters know only too well. You think you're only making a mistake on one piece of fabric and it's only a millimeter out, but at the end, the whole quilt is crooked. On my Bernina, I select a design and the machine creates perfect patchwork blocks that just need sewing together. The result is a flawless project, no matter what the size. And you can then choose a quilt pattern for the same block size and embellish the finished quilt with ease. When doing free motion sewing, it is very important that the stitches are even. This requires control of the fabric movement. It's much easier with a Bernina. With a stitch regulator, you will master free motion sewing in no time. The BSR adjusts the sewing speed of the needle according to the speed at which you move the fabric. This ensures that the stitches are always sewn evenly. You can choose between different modes. BSR Mode 1 is for experienced quilters. The needle starts moving as soon as the fabric is moved and keeps on moving when you stop moving the fabric. But someone who is just starting out might need time to figure out how to free motion sew. In this case, BSR Mode 2 is a better choice. In this mode, the needle only moves when the fabric is moving, but stops when the fabric stops moving. And then there is one more mode. BSR Mode 3. This allows you to baste a quilt together using large stitches. It secures the sandwich layers perfectly and is also very easy to remove. Bernina wants to make sewing easy. The kickstart function enables the machine to sew by itself, so you don't have to keep your foot on the foot control. To stop and restart the machine, all I have to do is press the foot control with a kick of my heel. My embroidery always has to be perfect and Bernina offers the ultimate precision. No more complicated sewing. For example, I have here my flower. Thanks to pinpoint placement, I can easily place it with millimeter precision. This feature is also useful when I have not hooped the fabric perfectly. There is almost always a margin of error. With my Bernina, I can move and straighten the design precisely. How much time did I use to spend cutting jump stitches? This all happens automatically on my Bernina. The threads are cut off on the back of the fabric, and they are also secured so they won't come undone again. Bernina machines are constantly evolving and becoming increasingly smart. You can now purchase a plus upgrade from your Bernina dealer, and your B770QE will be equipped with the latest additional features. It also includes a new foot for ruler work and the new couching inserts. Bernina is my indispensable assistant. It gives me confidence, as if it was saying, do what you want and I will support you. Bernina, made to create. Yes, it's true. There is an upgrade for your Bernina 770 and it's pretty exciting. And it starts with you visiting Bernina.com right now to get a little firmware update for your machine. Is that confusing? All right, let's have a look at a little tutorial.
Now, of course, if you're feeling a little trepidation about doing that upgrade on your own, we're happy to do it for you. And some of you out there are due to bring your machines in for a servicing. So you know what? You might as well bring your Bernina 770 Quilters Edition in, get it a little gussied up, give it a little spa day, get the new update on there. Um, there's also been a little bit of confusion about the upgrade coming out. So here's, here's the secret. Updates are free. Upgrades usually cost money in most cases when we're talking about firmware on the machine. So there is an upgrade and that is also going to install on your machine and it comes with a security key in the box. There's lots of goodies in this box so don't get the two confused but you're going to need the update in order to install the upgrade. So you're just going to focus right now on getting your 770s updated so that it will be ready when you're ready to do the upgrade on your 770. So now let's have a look at the upgrade and what that's all about. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna need to do is purchase the upgrade kit, hopefully from Bernina of Naperville, but then you're gonna go into your settings, find your sewing machine button. The settings are the gears, by the way, and then go into the information screen and once you've done your update, you're gonna press the upgrade because that button will be active. Then you're gonna look inside your plus upgrade kit. And there are gonna be like your, your um, couching clips and your new number 72 S foot, the one with the slit. But then there's also gonna be a, a special product key card. And when you look on the back, it's gonna show you all of the new features and stitches. We'll get into that in just a minute. But the main thing that you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to have to generate your activation key. And you're gonna generate your activation key by visiting www.bernina.com slash B770 hyphen QE, you know, all of that stuff they give you in the kit. And then finally, there is a little button that says generate activation key. So Bernina wants you to give them a little bit of information. So you're gonna fill in like your salutation, your first name, your last name, your address, and your email. I think your email, just follow, just fill in the thing. And then once you do that, there you're gonna need to also find your machine ID. So once again, you go to the gears, you go to the machine, to the information, and you're gonna find a machine ID. And you're gonna record that down. And you're gonna enter this information in your machine ID fields. After you do that, you pick your machine model And then you're gonna take that product key card that came with your update or your upgrade kit, and you're gonna fill that information in. Once you have that information, you're gonna submit it and you have to confirm that you've read the end user license agreement. A activation key is generated. Now this is really important. You're gonna write that down and you're gonna save that. You're gonna take a picture of it. Then you're gonna go back to the gears, back to all that information and get to that upgrade button where you're gonna activate it. And you're gonna activate it by typing in that activation key that was generated. And then once that's complete and you enter the activation key in correctly, you're ready to go. And now you have the 770 plus features on your existing Bernina 770 Quilters Edition machine. So yeah, that is how that's done. Now, um, now I've taken these videos from Bernina's YouTube channel, so I just want you to know now we're just skipping ahead and we're going to the um, YouTube video for them that's gonna show you the new plus features of the Bernina 770 Plus. And some of these features have been around. These are the embroidery features. There is a pinpoint placement that you're gonna get with your 770. And that's awesome. And you have grid positioning. You're gonna have um, a, an ability to scale it as well, which we didn't have before, so that's exciting. And this, um, we do many things with uh, pinpoint placement in a lot of our tutorials. 
When you're doing pinpoint placement, you're using your multi-function knobs to get everything just exactly where you want it to go. And then once you get your first registration point set, you, you set it and then you align things where you want the next one. And you know, here in this box, you, 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 we have nine little boxes to choose from. But what this is doing is ideally, it's turning this exactly the way that we need it to go to stitch exactly where we need it to go, the right size and at the right angle. And then you can even look, if you, if you need to do a little bit more delving into this, you can set this other ways. You can actually use exact points on your embroidery design to stitch things out exactly the way that you need them to go. And so that's that little butterfly with the pluses. And so once you get those set, then you're ready to stitch again. And I use this a lot sometimes when I'm doing continuous line quilting, which I'm, we're gonna have a video, I swear. I keep threatening, but we will have a video on this. And now another feature that you're gonna get is word art. And I love this one. This is where we can take any of our fonts and we can curl it under a circle. And these are all done using our knobs and you can also curl it over the circle there's also ungroup ungroup is awesome you're gonna love it so ungroup really allows us to take a design ungroup it and then just remove layers that we don't want to use and once you go through all of them and delete them then you kind of have a little custom design something that is just spe special to your imagination and you can do this on every design that comes with your machine or even designs that you bring in we also have an opportunity to change the way our motifs stitch out. So whether you're ungrouping or grouping something, you can actually take designs and, and move them in the sequence. So no longer do we have to worry about the order that we bring things into the hoop. We can change that now with these plus features. So there's just many possibilities and many options with this machine. There's also so many new designs. If you watch the video with um, the, if you watch the earlier video, you'll see the designs that she used. And then we also have basting. So now when we're in the quilting version, we can baste in BSR3. Now, some of you that have a Q-series are gonna be familiar with this. We use this on our frame. You have the basting feature on your Q20 and your Q16, but now we have these on our Bernina 770 Plus or on your Bernina 770 that's been upgraded to a Plus. We also have this kickstart feature, and this is where you don't have to like get a cramp in your foot from pressing down on the accelerator. You can actually start and stop it with the heel tap feature of your machine. And I think that this is gonna be a real help for some of you that, that do the quilting. And now, of course, we're also getting new features like the triple stitch. So we can take a stitch, you can see here the little tulip stitch, and look at this. We can go in and select the design, and we can add triple stitch to it. We also have a lot of new stitches that are available, and we can take pattern limitation and type in the actual number of limitation number of stitches that we want. The machine also has foot recognition. Some of you have really been wondering why doesn't your 770 have it? Well, if you update date to plus, you certainly will have that. And you can see these beautiful stitches are stitching out and they look fantastic. And now if you are curious, about any of these features, don't forget you can come in and check them out at Bernina of Naperville. And you can always give us a call too. Well, well, 
Let's have a look at the new Bernina Overlocker. It's an L860. It's got all of the things you love about the Bernina L850 and plus it's got a color touch screen. So first let's hear what Julian Collins has to say about it and then, you know, I'll talk to you a little bit about it. Hello, my name is Julian Collins. I'm the creator behind Julian Creates. And one thing that I love about Bernina is that when I first started sewing, I was in some Facebook groups and they said, nothing sews like a Bernina. I felt like I needed to check that out. Now that I have, I have so many Bernina machines and I can't recommend it enough. I am so excited to tell you about all the things I love about the L860. One thing that I absolutely adore about the L860 is this one-step air thread system. Before, I was always a little intimidated by having to rethread my machine and having to remember how to do it. With the L860, it makes it so easy. The one-step air threading system really has a easy operation where you don't have to actually push the thread into the holes, but only hover it over the holes for the thread to catch when you press the pedal to engage the air threading system. You can thread the machine in any order. So one of the great things about this machine is its color touchscreen. From this screen, you can literally control this whole machine. From here, you can check your settings, you can choose your stitches, even watch animations to make sure that you are using the proper features of the machine. All the different functions that are available on the touchscreen really make sure that I'm getting the perfect stitch that I want each and every time. Using the personal memory, you can save stitches that you might want to come back to in the future. The Stitch Optimizer allows you to make sure that you're getting the perfect stitch each and every time, especially when you're using specialty or decorative threads. It allows you to troubleshoot any issues that you might be having to make sure that you're getting that perfect finish. Using the screen under Guided or Expert Mode, you really get to decide everything that you want to do. Under Guided Mode, let's say that you're brand new with this machine. It really helps tell you everything that you need to do for this machine. With each and every step of this process under guided mode, it gives you animations and it tells you exactly what to do from changing your cutting width to making sure that your presser foot pressure is correct. Under expert mode, let's say that you've had a little bit of time with this machine. You know exactly what you want to do. You can easily go into that mode and choose your stitch. But let's say that you maybe forgotten a part of that you can still go back into those animations to make sure that you are getting every single feature right as you are threading your machine. When choosing a stitch using your color touch screen, things such as your stitch length, your thread tension, and your differential feed are already selected for you, leading to a perfect stitch right out the box. But let's say you wanna change some things. Also using the color touch screen, you can change those functions. You can make your stitch length longer or shorter, you can change your differential feed in case you want a wavier hem, as well as you can change your thread tension, creating the stitch that is perfect for you. Using the Sewing Consultant on the L860 is a great tool to use when you're really wanting to try something new. So using the Sewing Consultant, you can choose your fabric, as well as the technique that you will like, and it will set everything else up for you, such as your stitch length, as well as your thread tension. It will even give you suggestions for what presser foot to use. Using the free arm makes sewing things such as your sleeves or cuffs or even small garments for a child just so much easier. The foot control on the LA60 is so wonderful to use. With the tap of your heel, you can operate the needle up and down feature. Also with the foot control, you can really control the speed of the machine from either going as much as 1500 stitches per minute or as slow as stitch by stitch, especially in those really tight corners or curves. I absolutely love the Bernina freehand system. Now with just using the knee lift, I can raise and lower the presser foot so I can really focus on having my hands on my fabric and on my piece, really allowing me to make sure that I'm getting the exact control over the fabric. With this machine, there is a built-in needle threader, making it so easy to thread the needles of your overlocker. You can choose which needle that you want to thread, which also corresponds with a color-coded system of the threading path of this machine. One of the great features of this machine is the swing-out presser foot, especially when you're threading the machine. 
it allows you to have full access to the needles, making it so much easier to thread with the automatic threader. The technology packed inside the L860 makes it really feel like you have a teacher inside, making it a perfect machine both for beginners and professionals alike. Bernina, made to create. All right, so the one thing I want you to keep in mind with um, the new L860 is that it is an L850 with the guided access with that color touch screen, and it also has the automatic tension. So that's a real cool feature if you're not really ready to take the delve into cover stitching because the L860 is only an overlocker machine. Now, I also want to put this bug in your ear. I can't wait, but... All right, we do have our L850s on special now through August 31st. Uh, we dropped the price on them a little bit if you're someone that doesn't need the step-by-step -step guided access. But nonetheless, you're going to love all of the Bernina Sergers in the line. So I really highly recommend that you come in and check them out. I am sitting here in traffic and uh, you know, hey listen, I didn't bring a tripod with me so let's focus on the software right now and I'm going to start with having Sue Overy Pruitt from Sookie Sews tell you why she loves the Bernina Embroidery Software 9. My name is Sue Overy Pruitt from Sookie Sews and I've been in the sewing industry my entire career and I have traveled the globe as a costume and fashion designer and even a small leather goods designer. But since 2010, I have run my own business. So as a creative person, it's really remarkable to me that you can do something on the computer and then magically it appears on your embroidery machine and then it turns into a project. And I am just fascinated the combination of the Bernina software and embroidery machines. I'm so excited to share with you that Bernina has developed a new software. It's designed for the longtime embroidery enthusiast, but also the Bernina newbie. And it's really going to open the door for machine embroidery creativeness. It's called Bernina Embroidery Software 9. Now there are two different levels. The first is the Designer Plus, and this has all kinds of wonderful new embroidery features. But what's really cool is if you have a previous version of the Bernina software, you'll be able to update or upgrade to this version. And then there's also Creator, which is wonderful for entry-level embroiderer, and you have all kinds of editing embroidery tools. Plus, there is an interactive home screen, which is really neat because it has all kinds of tutorials and projects, and it brings you to some really cool designs. And I gotta tell you that the fact that I can use this on multiple computers just by logging in and out, I love that. It's totally awesome. And if you wanna use a recently used embroidery design, guess what, they pop right up for you. But if you wanna start a new graphic, you can start in Corel Draw, and that comes with Designer Plus. And now there's Wi-Fi functionality, which is really amazing because you can create all your designs and editing on your computer, and then from any room in your house, you can send it wirelessly, seamlessly to your embroidery machine. Both levels are compatible with the Wi-Fi functionality, and the Wi-Fi device is bundled with the Designer Plus level and can be purchased separately to work with the Creator level. With both Designer Plus and Creator, you have the ability to turn artwork into an embroidery design. You can use the improved, powerful auto-digitizing tools, and in just a few clicks, you have an embroidery design to stitch. The full editing tools give you the ability to change all sorts of things, from your fill, to the color, to the size. There are so many advanced features that are gonna take you from vision to sketch to full editing and full digitizing. For example, the branching and the weld tools. The branching tool, it's pretty amazing. You no longer have to worry about your stitch sequence. It will literally regenerate to give you the most efficient stitch sequence. Oh, and the weld tool? You can now take multiple objects and weld them into one single object. Designer Plus has full digitizing ability, allowing you to take your project from sketch to design and digitize it manually. Now let's talk about fonts. Bernina Embroidery Software 9 includes over 100 fonts. In fact, my new favorite is Shella font, which has this lovely handwriting kind of style, which is so hot right now. 
And adding fonts has never been so easy. With the Bernina Embroidery Software 9, there's now a separate toolbox for lettering and monogram. And it includes the suggested sizes right inside the toolbox. And there's a new feature called Keyboard Design Collection, which allows you to map out designs to your keyboard for endless alphabet options. There are more basic shapes as well as new applique features. There's a new applique toolbox and the Convert to Applique tool that makes creating an applique from any shape super easy. Plus more stitch types like tack down and cover stitching have been added. And now you can export your applique file as an SVG, which is wonderful for those cutting machines. I've been digitizing for 25 years and I have now found the software that matches my imagination so that I can create my most memorable designs. Bernina, made to create. All right, so we've had to take a break from our software extravaganza because it's Century Club and we got this really cool, uh, hung what is it called? Uh, Hungry X. Hung Hungry X. And uh, we're gonna cook uh, tacos and mojitos well, I'm not going to do it. Chris is going to do it, and he's got a cute apron that all of Ber Bernina has provided all of this for us, and so we get to make some cocktails and everything. So I'm pretty much just going to chill out while Chris does the preparation, and I don't even know like how this is going to work via Zoom, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Camilla's going to watch too. There she is, right, baby? Right. She won't kiss me. She's mad. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look at some of the software things. So we're going to digitize some mittens. And what I'm really showing you here is how you can easily digitize using the um, just instant auto digitize tool. And so look at those mittens. They're already done. I could probably already stitch them out. But we want to show now, I want to show you how cool it is to do some of these auto applique things. So I'm going to just get rid of one of these mittens and I'm going to focus on the right one here. And uh, first thing I really want to do is get rid of these stars. I don't want them on my mittens. So I'm deleting them. Now I'm going to click this mitten and I want to fill those holes. And I have this ability in my edit toolbar. I can fill them. And now I've got like this solid looking kind of mitten there. And now in one step, I can make this an applique. And that's going to add a straight stitch. It's going to add a tack down stitch. And then it adds the cover stitch. And so I'm just going to go ahead and convert to applique. And then I want to do a little bit of tweaking after that happens. So I'm just going to get rid, or I'm not going to get rid of, I'm just going to, you know, resize the little bottom of my mitten here. And I can select all three of these items and I'm just going to widen them a little bit. And I, would, I just want to make this look good at the bottom. So in addition to widening them, I'm going to move them down just a little bit and get it just where I want it. And then um, that little hanging loop, it, it looks a little bit weird. So I want to just cut it. So I'm using this cut tool to just go through and separate this stitching from the rest of the mitten. And so once I get that line there, I hit enter. And now you can see there that my little loop is separate from the rest of my mitten. And you can see I can like delete it if I don't want it, or I can just undo and put it back there. And I'm pretty happy with this. So now I want to go ahead and make a copy of my mitten and reverse it with the mirror feature. And now what I want to do is easily, easily, easily just take all of the applique in this file together. So I'm going to click on one, hold down my key, my shift key to select all together and then I'm going to go back to my applique tab and I'm going to combine my applique features or my I'm going to combine applique and so what that's going to do it's going to group all of my applique together so that I don't have to worry about sequencing by color or anything like that and now for the rest of the colors left in my design that's what, when I can go ahead and do the um, 
you know, sequencing of my colors. So that's a really nice feature and I very easily made these mittens. And now, of course, like any time you make something, you actually wanna stitch them out first. So another feature that's new with the software is that I can actually applique a hole. So it starts with these donuts that I brought in here and I wanna crop this image first. So I'm cropping it with the tool and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the instant digitize again, only this time I am gonna have to do a couple of other things. So I wanna delete the round white circle in the middle of the donut. And then I also wanna select on my donut part and delete that. And I am going to pick a color that will allow me to digitize my donut. So first I'm gonna pick the uh, digitize and applique with a hole. Then I'm gonna pick a nice little brown donut color or something like that. It might look more like a burnt donut, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna right click at the top. So I'm gonna right click at noon, three o'clock, six o'clock and nine o'clock. Press enter on my keyboard and that's gonna set that outer ring, and then I'm gonna digitize 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock again, and press enter, and then I have my donut. Now, it's not quite finished right now. Um, you can see there that I might wanna add some fabric to this, so I, you can put your own fabric library in here, but I'm just picking something that's preloaded and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that so I can see my fabric on there. But now the order is a little screwed up. So what I wanna do is take my donut and put it so that the applique and all of that is done, done first. So that starts by using my color film for resequencing. Then once that's in place, I can notice that my little hole in the middle there probably needs to be moved. So I'm gonna click my applique and I am gonna break it apart. And I can do that in my edit screen, but one thing to be note, to note of is if I break it apart, I'm gonna lose my fabric imagery. Just, you know, it's just one of those things. So now I'm gonna move that down in my sequencing so that goes on top of my icing. Finally, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to take a a font that you purchase that has all the fonts are individual embroidery designs and batch upload them and do them together so that you can actually map this. This is called mapping to your keyboard. And this is really cool because we're gonna work with some quilting letters and this quilting alphabet, there's actually a new thing that we can do with this. It's this little A button that's in the top of your embroidery library tab. And once you select that A button, that's gonna open up a little dialog box. And then another thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have open is this uh, details page so that we can see all of our lettering and how it's gonna be sized and all of that. Now, of course, we will have classes on this individually, so you don't have to worry too much about that. But the cool thing about this is that when we take these designs, we can, um, we base them all on the letter M. And so we first wanna start by selecting a design and I'm gonna go down there and select my M and we're gonna go by the height of M. And then when we take a new keyboard or a new, um, a new set of these batch uploads that we're doing, we're gonna take the height of that M and then we're gonna type it right in the height there. And then once we do that, we can say, okay. And so now that's cool. Then we're also going to determine, okay, what keyboards or what keys are we going to use? And so I want to use like the A through Z. And so when I select that A through Z button, I can just then scroll up into my design. And when I go and pick 26 files, which are A through Z, 
and just the uppercase alphabet, now I am assigning these letters to the appropriate letters of my keyboard. And you know, when you wanna select something, you click at the top, hold shift down, click the Z, and then we're gonna assign, and it takes a little bit of time for that to populate, but eventually you will see it over here in your box. And it's gonna assign those pieces. And then we could assign other images to like the question mark and things like that, but I just wanna keep this kind of simple. So we're just gonna keep it on the A to Z buttons. And now once we do this and we go ahead and we close our library, we'll be able to actually make a sample. And so now we're going back to our embroidery board and I'm gonna to go to our lettering. Now here under lettering, you can, you can manually map just one thing to your keyboard as well if you wanted to, um, but in my case, I just wanted to assign these letters to my computer. And you can see there is my Bernina all stitched out. Now I might have to make some adjustments to this, but you know, you can see how it works and how you could use it to suit your needs. Yeah. Did you learn anything from the Bernina Embroidery Software 9? Nope. Yeah, because now I don't have to cut it anymore. I don't have a panic attack while cutting them. Exactly, because you can use cut work tool, right? Yeah. Right, so now that you love the software, I bet you're wondering what the difference is between an update, an upgrade, and the full-blown software. So the full-blown software is for you if you have no Bernina software at all. So that's like, hey, I want to make stuff and I want to make my original stuff, so I'm going to need the full-blown version 9. All right, cool. The update is if you have anything like a Bernina version 6, 7, or 8. So the full-blown version, but it's just another, you know, it's an older version. So like we still have new versions of Software 8 in the store that are at a special price. That <laughs> could even come with the update. And so that will be like getting full-blown version 9. So that's an update. Then there's an upgrade. So there is a new version that, you know, many, 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 many years ago, Bernina used to have multiple levels of the software. They had Editor Plus and they had Designer Plus. Well, now there's a creator. And the creator is kind of like uh, <laughs> almost what anybody looking to find something brand new might need to start off with. But just like with anything else, if you have something that you're starting off, eventually you grow and you want the big thing. So there is an upgrade for the uh, Bernina Crea Creator software to go to Bernina Designer Plus version 8. So there's, there's three levels. And, uh, you know, we're happy to uh, have a talk with you about any, you know, choice that you think you might need. So that's kind of the difference with that. But regardless, you're going to love this new software. I mean, come on. Kaylin loves it. It's going to save her a lot of time, right? <laughs> Okay, there's one more thing, one more thing to talk about. Okay, so are you ready? The last thing is the bling. Oh, I'm not talking about my engagement ring. I'm talking about the new... Bernina 880 plus and 790 plus crystal edition machines. Let's roll the videotape. It's it time shine. to shine. Bernina introduces the new crystal edition, a collaboration with Swarovski.
let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Bernina, made to create. So here's the deal. We want you to really love these machines. There's a lot to learn about them, particularly the 880 plus, you know, I love the shape maker. I love just so many things about this machine. So because we want at Bernina Vaporville, we want you to love these machines as much as we do. We are offering an extra special hands-on retreat. And we're gonna offer these as many times as we need for the machines that we sell. So here's the deal. If you want, and I know you're gonna want this because you're gonna be able to get away from the kids you can, you can throw the like husband a lamb chop or something or the wife, you know, whatever the case is. And we're going to put you up for a hotel and we're going to have three, a three day class on learning how to use your machine, navigation, troubleshooting, threading, just basic sewing and getting to know your machine. Then the fun stuff like embroidery, and uh, embroidery and sewing combination things, and then even programming the machine. So we figured this is gonna take about three days and we want you to be comfortable. We want you to be totally submersed in this environment. So that's why you'll get the hotel stay. So we'll talk about that later. I'm gonna have a separate video about that, but I just want you to know that these machines are so special. We're gonna make projects that you um, get specifically with this machine. Now, those are also gonna come, these projects, you're gonna get um, virtual classes from Bernina as well, but sometimes you might just need a little bit of hands-on stuff, so we're gonna cover that. And um, you're just gonna learn the ins and outs, and it's gonna be so much fun. Uh, finally, uh, you're going to love the luggage. You're going to love the crystal kit. You're going to love this amazing USB stick that's been designed. I mean, you could wear it like jewelry around your neck. You're going to love the faceplate. I think it really has a very retro kind of mid-mod vibe, and you all know how much I like that. Um, but I, I am buying one. I, it's time for me to get a special edition 8 series for sure, but I kind of want a 790 as well. But you know, Chris has kind of said, you know, Gail, come on, let's let's calm down and get down to earth. But, you know, maybe you'll want a 790 and an 882. I don't know. But you're going to have to come into the store so that you can see how amazing this is. Or you can give me a call and pre-order your machine. That's right. We're taking pre-orders for these. It's $500 down. It is refundable. And uh, once the machines come in, we'll give you a call and we can set you up with your retreat date. How's that sound? Want to give it a try? Well, want more details? Like I said, stop in the store or give me a call at 331-472-4231. <laughs> well, that's about all for us here. There was a lot to learn, wasn't there? There's a lot of exciting new things to check out, but this is my alas, last day of vacation. And so it's time to get back to the grind, but uh, hey, thank you for sticking it out and watching with me as I take you through everything that was new at BU 2021. As you can imagine, um, you know, I got a little bit of weird looks as I recorded some of my intros and outros. And I just like to say, hey, thanks to the fine people of Richmond, Virginia, and to uh, the Washington DC Capitol Police who gave me funny looks as I did an intro in front of the Capitol building. But anyway, if you want to see more videos like this one, particularly some of our videos that we have coming up about the comings and goings at Bernina of Naperville and the trainings on the new product, don't forget to check out our Bernina of Naperville YouTube channel. It's easy. It's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville. And there you can like, comment, and subscribe. <sighs> All right, let's get some sleep. Bye-bye. <laughs>